Welcome back, VST here at Amstreet Tech guys. I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, 512 gigabytes. The Samsung S22 Ultra, 256 and the Xiaomi 13 guys. So yesterday I did a video testing the RAM speed, the CPU speed when processing videos and also the storage speed. And I came across some very interesting result where kind of the Xiaomi 13 really smoked out the S23 Ultra. And that's a bit weird because both phones are running with UFS 4.0, which should really get you speeds like 4,000 megabytes per second read and something like 1,200 megabytes speed, write speed. And this is why I wanted to do some more benchmarks today. And I also brought the S22 Ultra as a reference. And also the S22 Ultra is running with the UFS 3.1, which should be significantly slower in speed. And some users suggested that we can use the storage test for a month or two. So I'm gonna run the Android storage test, then Android bench, and then this bench, guys. And then we are going to compare. And now I have my cat again crashing my video. What can I do? Nothing. Really, my cat is my assistant. So let's just start this test. Android 2 storage test, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, Exynos 200 2000, and the Xiaomi 13. Okay. Yeah, so interestingly enough, the S23 Ultra wipes out the Xiaomi with just 6,000 points shy. Storage type 4.0, okay. Storage type 4.0, that's uh, kind of what I expected here. The sequence read is 3,400 megabytes, which is pretty much the same as what we get on the Xiaomi. And you can just see, guys, it's twice lower on the S22 Ultra, again, running the UFS 3.1. The sequence write speed, it's 3,000 megabytes versus 2700, so here 300 megabytes more, so faster, quicker, and here, of course, it is three times slower, which is also what we expected, and this can be also seen by the result. The random access read speed is 426 versus 265 and versus 382, so again, like here, the S23 Ultra is really, really, really winning this. I'm gonna do another test like this, and then I'm gonna start, guys, the Android Bench, which is an old forgotten benchmark, just to see what's gonna happen. But I'm just going to run this test one, two, three times to sh be sure that I'm getting consistent results. Now, even this time higher, I'm checking the speeds, guys. So the sequence read speed on the Xiaomi 13 and on the S23 Ultra is circa the same. Um, the S23 Ultra has a bit of a lead in the sequence right when using this benchmark, 300 megabytes quicker, and also random access speed ride is a bit better. So, okay, the write speed, the random access write speed here is higher on the Xiaomi 13, but the random access read speed here is actually a bit higher. And this kind of makes sense, guys. I was like thinking, why should this be slower than this? Because this here is half a terabyte, right, flash memory, UFS 4.0, and usually, you know, the bigger the flash memory is, the read speeds also are bigger. Not in all cases, but this kind of goes hand in hand. Okay, now, guys, let me start the other test. I told you the other test that I'm going to be using is <clears throat> this one. It's called disk speed. So disk speed opening also here. As you can see, I already did some tests to prepare for the video. And here, clearly, the first time I did a test, the Xiaomi one. But okay, just now, let's test it again. And you can just see how the S22 Ultra is struggling a bit, right? Okay, now we are done. How much did we get, guys? On the S23 Ultra, we got 1,500 megabytes read speed, only 996, 1,000 on the S22 Ultra and 1,671 read speed on the Xiaomi 13. So here the Xiaomi wins. The write speed though is 632, a bit lower than the one from the S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra also comes really lower. But using this benchmark, the differences are not so drastic, which is again a point about benchmarks that we should not really be relying also much on the benchmark, guys. You can just see they kind of have the tendency to produce this random, random results, which is a bit weird, but okay. And the last storage test is going to be Andrew Bench 5, which is a very old tool, but it still works. So let me just run the benchmark, guys, and see the results. I'm going to run it at least two times to be able to compare. Okay, Xiaomi 13 is already ready. It's like fashion read here. 
3500 megabytes. Okay, sequential read here on the Xiaomi 13, 3500 megabytes, 3200 megabytes on the S23 Ultra, so I would say a bit on par. The sequential right here is 1300 versus only 1000 here and 2000 here. So with this benchmark, the Xiaomi 13 kind of is able to get higher speed. Again, this is just to illustrate guys, don't really trust all these benchmarks. You can just see how inconsistent are the results. Some of those like the Andrew Bench are so old. I think the last version was like five years ago, but nevertheless, you know, those are really some very basic things, generating data, reading it, writing it, you know, from and to the memory using, of course, uh, the SOC and uh, all of that connected. Anyway, guys, this is pretty much what I got. I really hope that this video now is going to bring a bit more light into this realm of darkness. And at least with the Antutu storage benchmark, we were able to prove that the S23 Ultra is indeed leading. So, okay, one more time, I'm going to rerun it, guys, just to be on the safe side before drawing any conclusions so let me just open and do again and we are going to do one last test before i drop the video just just to be 100 percent sure really guys that the results that i'm getting are at least consistent from the benchmarks themselves so 136,000 points okay 126 and i guess it's going to be really way lower the s22 ultra so thank you so much for watching guys if you like uh, educating content like this then you might as well very educatively sub to my channel thank you and Bye.